One of the last of a dime three. You know where hip-hop live without the skinny jeans. That's why I walk with a different walk. Fought with a different heart. Talk with a different walk. Niggas beat me. Pull it in. Oh, well, look, look. Had he, had he been coming like that throughout the beat, I might, I might say, say he can still he can still, still go. Saying, yo, Meek Mill can rap. You know, right. I mean, nobody never said that. Meek Mill can rap. I don't know why he just don't rap. Rap. Yeah, it's, like, it's like this nigga gets stage fright when it comes to a motherfucking beat. It's like some kind of, yo, what, what shuts him down, yo? Yo. I don't know. Because just right there, had he been coming the whole way strong like that, and then oh, the beat was still going on, and then he came up with some shit like that right there. Now, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, me gave him. His stock had fell too low, yo. If, and that shit right there, he was spitting, but yo, it's too late for that now, yo. Yo, it's too late for that. I wouldn't say it's too late. It's too late. It's too late, yo. You, it's too late you, to you, rap. It's too late. What you mean? It's too late for him to to be a rapper? No, to be strong in this thing. He's still weak in this thing. Even though he did that, he's still weak in this thing. Yo. Weak in what? The rap game? This, this, yeah, the battle and everything. Yo. Well, one freestyle ain't gonna change that for you anyway. Right. But he should have. He should have been coming. I mean, I don't know why he's gonna come with that. It's too late. It's too late. What are you supposed to do? He supposed to get on phone flex and not rap. Yo, that's like this, yo. That's like a nigga. He got an album phone. coming out. It's too late, yo. You lost. Oh, what are you supposed to do? He just supposed to retire? He's supposed to not do nothing, yo. <laughs> he should have went on that bitch and just spit. That's what he did. No, he, 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 he says some shit. Yo, me can rap. And that's what he do wrong. He do wrong. If he just shut the fuck up and rap, he'd be good. Meek Mill go on these motherfucking Instagram joints, responding on the comments, talking shit, talking all this dumb shit. Even the shit he talking about after DC4, I ain't rapping about violence no more. Violence and all that shit. You want to do positive rap? What the fuck was you talking about if on Flex, though? That whole freestyle was violent. What's he going to rap about then? I don't know. He can rap about a lot of stuff. He, like just like on the phone flex freestyle, he started out rapping cool. I mean, he was just talking shit, talking the shit, telling the story or whatever. I'm not saying he shouldn't rap about it, but shut the fuck up because the moment you rap about it after DC4, niggas gonna say shit. But obviously, like you just said, what the fuck else he gonna rap about? He gonna keep talking about his rolly? Yeah, that's probably was last night and shit at the club talking some club. I don't know where. But he was on there talking about he ain't responding to niggas no more. He ain't making no more songs to niggas no more. Just they see him. Yeah, see him on site. We started off with nothing, nigga. I ain't going back and forth with no internet. I ain't going no more talking, none of that, nigga. Any nigga you ain't say something about me, Billy, tell him to handle me on site, nigga. The chain still costs 250. The wrist still costs 50. We still do that. That's another thing what I'm saying, like, Niggas, he just need to shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, just shut the fuck up. He do need to shut the fuck up, yo. Yo, if, just if he wouldn't have did none of those fucking interviews, I mean, not interviews, he, if he wouldn't have did none of those Instagram comments and all that shit, and he just would have came out with that freestyle on Funk Flex, and he was shitting on the game in there, niggas would have been like, oh, yo, Meek shitting on him. But all that shit in between being on stage, the, the, Instagram posts, all that shit is just corny. Then you got Beanie Seagulls at you now. Beanie Seagull getting knocked out. All that shit that happened in between then and now is corny. But what you were saying, you, you listen to the, the Beanie Seagull shit? The part, the part I just listened to where he was talking about how he not repping the city right and how he, how he, ain't, he ain't got no classic, no better other songs and shit. I was like, yeah, yo, he don't, yo. I disagree, yo. Yo, he don't, yo. I disagree. What? What? Yo. The, the intro, that Dreams and Nightmares intro. That, yo, that is the, classic. Yo, that is, the, to me, I've always felt like this, the hardest thing Meat Mill has ever done. Okay. And that still ain't better than Marvel. It's still classic, it's though. It's a, yeah, it's a classic. It's one of, it's one of his classics for him, but it's still not 
touching where Beanie Siegel was at. There's other classics that's better than that within the, the for hip hop. But Meek Mill classic is right here, right here. That Beanie Siegel classic is what are you here. saying? But as far as ranking, Meek Mill can't touch Beanie's classics, y'all. Yo, Meek got classics. I'm a boss is a classic. Yo, I'm saying he has classics, but his classics are uncomparable to Beanie Siegel. You feel me? You get what I'm saying? We all established that, yeah, Meek Mill has classics, but his classics ain't as good yo. as a Beanie Siegel classic. Let me tell you, yo. Yo, why, why you just want a minute, yo? That's because you, you, yo, you, yo, what? You the Die Hard Meek Mill fan. Nah, look, look. Check this out. Check this out. When Meek Mill, and I believe Meek Mill still popping. I still I still think he got the juice. I think he lost these battles, but I don't think it stops his money. I don't think I, it look, 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 listen, I don't think it stopped his popularity. I don't think it stopped people from pressing play on his music. He might be looked at differently. He might not be taken as seriously, but I don't think that stops people. But when Meek Mill was first, when he was fresh in the game and he was at his highest, yo, Meek Mill had the juice. Just like when Beanie Siegel was at a point when he had, you the know, juice. Beanie Siegel might have did more real nigga shit. He might have got locked up, did all that shit in the streets that had niggas gave Beanie Siegel that credibility. But Meek Mill got, you know, house party, I'm a boss, the intro. He got some shit that, that, will be around for a long time, if not forever. One of the last of a dime three. You know where hip hop live without the city gym. That's why I walk with a different walk, fought with a different heart talk.